recording in progress. I will start my lesson, Juni. Let's check with Juni, yeah? Yeah, give you a while. So, Hanye, so far, how you find in China? Enjoy the weather, enjoy the food, enjoy the people, enjoy the environment, enjoy the visit of the museums or so on and so forth? Mm, yeah, it's okay. Okay, as in what? What do you mean? Very interesting. Uh, you mean the museum, is it? And you went to the Nanjing Museum, right? Is it the Da Tu Sa, the, 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 the museum? How how you find uh, CFC? I would like to hear from you. Because uh, near next year, if you are taking history, uh, set three, so World War II history, how how you feel about the whole situation? You just came up, huh? You ate or not? You ate? So you you like you came up to mommy to tell you? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. 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 Standard conversation one, right? Oh. No, like, like, my mother woke, woke me up at 8 30 and then say got 9 30 got Zoom meeting. Rush. Nine. Oh, okay, okay. Relax, relax. Thanks for coming. Uh then how you find uh, the, 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 the the whole uh, museum? Very um sad, no? Huh? Mm, yeah, very sad and also very uh do you hate the person who do did that? Those people. After watching, looking, do you feel sad? Do you still want to eat sushi now? <laughs> do you still want to eat Japanese food now? Like right now, I I must hate lah. Cause like, uh, cannot eat salmon. You don't eat salmon. No, cannot eat salmon right now. Why? Hello, Johnny. Fukushima. Uh, I I've been eating salmon. Every day, most of the time, like. Oh. You see, uh, if it's really that bad, uh, that means the first person to die is the Japanese people, first of all. Agree, no? They are the nearest to the water. <laughs> Agree? All right, Juni. We will start the lesson now, okay? I think it's only the two of you. Can't eat... Uh, you might as well say, uh, Juni, might as well you say, can't eat every Japanese seafood, uh. Even the the scallops, the, the the prawns, the crab, all these things. How true are uh, we do not know uh, But they say it's very clear everything. To be honest, uh, if we do not have this kind of situation in Japan, uh, in other areas as per se, uh, in fact our oceans are being polluted. Really. Agree? Our sea and ocean are being polluted by you no know, those um the the marine um ship traveling around. You know, the, the things that we, our sewage, huh? 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 Yeah. All, all, all our, our food, food and the urine also go to the sea and things like that. If you watch Finding Nemo, you'll understand the whole bloody entire situation. Uh, very sad. Huh? Hmm, okay. Shall I continue? All right. So thanks for waking up so early. Uh, by right, it's 9 30, but anyway, we'll end early. Uh, then you can have your own early breakfast or no not early early lunch or go out somewhere okay hey Johnny you also went to went overseas eh? did you go overseas huh sorry I can't hear you I, I'm looking at my the other screen so I can't see you knocking your head or anything. You need to reply me because I'm looking at two monitors. One is looking at the WhatsApp, looking at the screen here of the, this this one here. You went overseas? Yes. Oh, China? Yes. Oh, uh, how is it? Which part of China? Uh, Wuhan. Oh, Wuhan. Okay. Okay. So day two, which we miss up last week lesson, uh, most, of, most of you are all overseas, uh, enjoying the, the scenery while you can, enjoy the ambience while you can. So now let's get back to our resolutions 
And later, you have to tell me what is your resolution for 2024 and what kind of strategy will you want to implement and things like that, okay? So I put Le Tong as here. Anya will be here. Okay. What is a strategy example? For example, a company A strategy might be the might be to become the cheapest provider in the smartphone market. Their, main, their manager then needs to negotiate with suppliers to reduce the cost of electronic components used in production so that can make the phone cheaper. And this is a tactic to achieve the set of strategy. So what is your strategy in your study in 2024? Are you going to like continue to do what you're using this plan now, now in 2023 to implement, to supply, apply and re, uh, reapply uh, um, uh, in 2024? Okay. The most important thing to let you all know is that um, whatever strategy you're going to plan for 2024, Uncle Raymond also might have my own strategy for the two of you. In fact, all of next year, those who are promoting to set two, uh, a set of set strategy to make sure that you have at least must improve by two grade. Huh? Two grade. That is my target. That is my strategy. That is my planning. That is the aim I want to see. Back to you, Juni. Wow, I like the Northern Lights design, super nice. I think you saw each other before I really go from this way. I like to see this kind of light. Back to you, Juni. What is your strategy for 2024? Uh, like, study harder and take down notes. Do mm -hmm. That's all? Uh, reduce in playing games. Reduce playing game, ah? Huh? 你讲的不是我讲的, huh? Okay. What else? I don't know. No, no, don't say I don't know. Let me think about it. Okay, don't say I don't know. Huh? Ah, okay. okay. Uh, how about you, Hanye? What is your strategy for 2024? Uh, keep paying attention in class. Uh, mm -hmm. take, take down more notes and not be complacent. Say again. Say again, say again. I didn't get you. Keep paying attention in class. Mm -hmm. write, write more notes for my own revision and also not be complacent. Ah, okay. Yeah, keep on improving, striving for the best. Huh? Well done. Very true. We need that. We have to have this kind of strategy to have good planning. So what is the strategy versus the plan? This is a strategy. Okay, win. Okay, where to play, how to win, what. Okay, so the AW and 1H here. And yes, your planning. With this strategy and business planning, so this is the vision, mission. Like last few weeks, we talked about uh, leaders and mission and visions last month, right? Then how are you going to with all these dimensions? For example, Han Ye and, and uh, uh, Chun Yi and Le Tong, whoever is listening. Uh, what is your vision for 2024? My mission is to pass all the subjects, like English, Chinese, Math and Science. Okay, this is, that your, this is your planning. So how are you going to use like, uh, how, let's say for English, where do I learn English? How can I learn and improve my English? What are the things that I need to capitalize and the capabilities of learning English? What my, what is the style and the methods that I need to learn? Okay, something like that. Huh? So let's move on. Uh, while they may be called strategy plans, sadly, they are just plans. Okay, sadly they are just planned. What is the difference? In short, strategy is the act of making an integrated set of choices which positions the organization to win, while planning is the act of laying out projects with timelines, deliverable, budget, and responsibility. Different, huh? So, in short, strategy is like making an integrated choice. So, that's what you say, both of you. You say, I want to study, I want to take notes, I cannot be compliant. I need to be uh, on my toe, on guard. I need to pay attention. Uh, I, I take lesser game times. I improve maybe my health by exercising. That's your strategy. But how are you going to plan like Monday? What will you do? Tuesday, what will you do? Wednesday and so on and so forth. How many hours are you going to write down your notes? How many hours are you going to spend on working on your, your this uh, physics, things like that? Okay. Right, so... Yeah. 
Okay, day two, which is last week. I'm already supposed to be last week. Okay, so wow. We still got how many days to go for Christmas? Huh? Now it's on the 16th. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine days to go for Christmas. And 15 days huh, to go to 2024. Wow, that is very fast. Hanye, Juni, are you prepared for 2024 now? Are you prepared for 2024? Mr. Han are you prepared? Yeah, I guess. Ah, cannot guess it. I'm very scared that you guess. A bit, are you? Cannot. It's young, we're very far. Because Nature Set 2 is super duper fast paced one. Hey, honey, I remember you submit a homework, right? Huh? Is that true, right? You submit a homework. Let me check whether it's a homework. Is it here? Oh. Mm, oh my gosh. I think I missed your homework somewhere. I think I misplaced it into another file. Give me a minute. Huh? Let me check where's my home. Where do I put your homework? Dao Gao. Dao Gao. Mm, not here. So I think I have to move it to next. Wait, uh, give me a minute. Ah, uh, gosh. Okay, uh, you did do your, your homework. Uh, I remember, right, Kanye? So never mind. Uh, later, I, I think you did, uh, but I in my the other... Um, wait, uh, can I see whether I, I, I download here or not? Give me a minute. Uh. Oh, gosh. No, your latest one is the leaders. Ah. <sighs> Okay, I think I, I left it to my the other laptop, so I might be referring referring to that file maybe later on or next week. Okay, I'm so sorry. So you say a bit, you say maybe um cannot let you must embrace it, especially in when you're taking your O level twenty twenty six, right, Hanye? Juni, what happened, Hanye? Somebody behind you? Oh, okay. You want to go and wash your face now? Huh? And yet, go and wash your face. Uh, no need to off the camera, just go and wash your face. So, a quick one, Juni. What is your resolution for next year? Yes, uh, don't type around, talk, talk. I want you to talk. Yes, Mr. Judy. Uh, let me think about it. Yeah, okay. While you're thinking about it, I'm looking for our dear friend to, to, to come later. I need to find his phone. Ah, I found it. I found it. Yeah, I found it. I found it. I found it. The thing. Okay, wait for Lu Juni to come back. Huh? Okay, what's your resolution? Uh, like, I prioritize my mental health and mm -hmm. then set some goals for next year. What did you say like, last time? I didn't catch you, my dear. Sorry. Like, I mm. prioritize my mental health and pick, like set goals for next year. This is a resolution. And honestly, what is your dream uh that you want to achieve in 2024? Besides study, don't talk about study, okay? Don't talk about study. 
Don't talk about study. Anything but not study. Hey, Hanye, I found out yours. This one, now. Uh, okay, later you read, ah. Uh. Anything besides study. Uh, can I? Okay, you think first, Ajuni. Uh, uh, Han, uh, Han Ye, can you read the, the class? My resolutions and strategy for 2024. My resolution and strategy for 2024. My resolution for 2024 is to score well in my exams, learn more about other countries, and make sure my family is healthy and happy. My strategy for this resolution is keep being a teacher in class. I will write more notes for my own revision. I will not be complacent in my studies for 2024. I will learn more about homeland China and his wish history I will not do anything that I know within me that displeases my parents awesome nice one even though they talk to each other but it's total 100 words huh? oh it's 100 words huh? by right it's okay never mind so you actually cover both into 80 words so it should be 100 words here and 100 words here huh? oh. never mind it's okay it's okay uh, I like the, this part here when you say this uh This one. And you wash your face and feel better, huh? more, more, more awake already. Yeah. I feel that this one is very true. Huh? Do you know how rich the history is for, for China? How many years? Juni and Han Ye, how many years of rich history? Can you imagine that huh? every dynasty in China at that time also have their resolution is to expand China territory to expand the China cultures and values and traditional styles. How they do that? Back to you. Hmm? <coughs> Sorry, I got choked. Uh, yes. How long? Uh, I think it's about 6,000 years. Okay. Do you need that? Oh, wait. I think it's 4,000 years. Okay, 4,000. Uh. Last, last call, uh, 4,000. Four thousand. It's five thousand plus. Five thousand plus. Reason why some of the history is not recorded because it's so far back dated. It's even longer than Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is only two thousand and twenty four, which is this next year. Now it's twenty twenty three. So it's this Jesus history is twenty two thousand plus. Egypt history is around there. So this is so rich and five thousand just round off lah. Or easy calculation 5,000 years, gentlemen. If we are not going to take care of this 5,000 year history, uh, it's just gone overnight through our generation. Cannot, uh. so it's good. I agree with you, Han Yet. We need to unhold and carry on to uphold this. Um, I would call this um, values, right? And your resolution hopefully will work on that. Juni, can you read to the class, please? <clears throat> Sorry, I'm going to get some water. I get you.
Okay. Let's go, Juni. Let's go, baby. Your turn. If you're not yourself setting the if you, if you find yourself setting the same New Year resolutions year after year, you're not alone. In fact, it's so common that there is unofficial dates, quitter day, and ditch New Year resolutions day that have that take place in late January and early February, just weeks after New Year's. While it is easy to get down on yourself, you should know the reasons goes of the filter is a lack of determination or ambition, but rather the impractically, even the impossibility of the resolution we set up. Uprooting our entire lifestyle and holding ourselves to unattainable standards, we will never pave the path to success. Sure, you might be able to achieve and sustain your goals for a while, but if they are too overwhelming or extreme, you will find yourself right back next year. Setting the same goals. This year, we are here to challenge your mindset and help you live behind the era of extremes. So in an effort to help you achieve your best deal yet, here are 20 resolutions for 2024. They are actually worth making and are more likely to success. Learn how to set realistic, healthy goals, stay committed, and remain inspired towards reaching and sticking with all you want to accomplish. Remember, we are human, not superhuman. Exactly, we are human and we're not superhuman. You have to set realistic goals and not drastic goals and not extremes, uh, uh, too exaggerated goal. So I want to score all A1 within three months. Can it be done? Tell well if there's possibility you can do it, but that means you need to sacrifice a lot of those things like your gaming, your sleep. Wow. And then you have to study at least every day around 10 hours. You deprive your sleep and things like that. Are you able to really to accept all these challenges to get 7A1 for all your subjects? So are you willing to overcome the extreme? That means whatever you, you are doing now in 2023, because this is the first year in secondary school, and you're pretty new to the environments, to the teachers, to the school, to the rules and regulations compared to that pre premise school. So now next year, you have at least a, a, a one-year um, experience in your school. And you know what you're going to be expected to do. And you know what you're going to uh, want to achieve. And you know you that you have a great responsibility, but now you consider the lower set senior. How are you going to... Uh, hand help these uh, set one students in your TCA, and then you are, are you re willing to get rid of your these old habits that you have in twenty twenty three? You might ask uh, Hanye and Juni, what got to do with my study? Uh? I'm here to learn English. Then, what got to do with all these things? Don't forget, uh, there are some essay questions come up. How to help students cope with stress? Uh, do you think that students out of these are more stressful than in the past? Do you think that students are able to handle stress? Do you think students should make plans for their future? Now, these are all the possible questions in O-level or in IT uh, school uh, exam. You okay now? And yeah, who, is the, who, who you are talking to? Are you okay? And yeah. Ayo, honey, are you okay? Who are you talking to, mommy? Ah? Okay, pyong ting, pyong ting, like relax. Okay, relax, cool down. Don't don't get so stressed out. Okay, you just wake up a bit late, come back, it's still school holiday, relax. Later we have a test, eh? So uh, take a piece of paper, huh? Relax, huh? Don't be so stressed out. Come on. Okay. Uh, now let me continue. Huh? Now, now you understand why I want you all to turn on camera. So at least I can help you to cool down yourself, relax, not so stressed. Come on. It's just like in the class, okay? The, the good thing is in the class that your parents are not beside you, not around. Okay, you're more concentrated. But when you are there, sitting there, if you're not paying attention, your parents say, hey, 做好好. 做么一直看电话, 做么做这个, 啊, 没有专心, it's normal. 
Okay, it's very normal. Huh? Okay. Uh, that is how it works in Zoom. So take it easy. Don't don't be so stressed out. So I'll uh, come back to this. How much effort you want to put? Let's see. Uh, what are the 20 achievable goals? Okay. If you want your goal to feel realistic and manageable, start with bite-sized goal. Find something small and inspiring from the list below. Once you achieve, wow, you can try and go on for the rest of the day. This one. Okay, let's go. Honey, your turn. Try one new recipe per week. One you want? Wait a minute. You want? You you will do it? Ah, let's see. Ah, go. One recipe per week. Easy peasy. <laughs> This is the perfect for those who get bored with eating healthy foods. It is important to mix it up so you stay motivated. Plus, trying new recipes can expose you to new foods you may have never tried before. This means more nutrition which can, in turn, pro promote better gut health. Who knows? Maybe even you come across some fav new favorite finds. While doing so, you may even set micro goals along the way. Make it a go and try one new seasonal fruit and veggie per week. Go plant based for a day or call a healthy source for your favorite comfort food cravings. Feed on pro as tons of healthy food and delicious recipes that make healthy. Eating easy. So the first one uh, to have your resolution is to make a new recipe a week. Uh,我读书都没有空了，还是要做这些东西呀。Now yeah. some people like to do that, especially uh, hey Hania, yeah, your school got F and N right? Food and nutrition class right?做菜对吗？煮饭啊? Why ah?为什么要做这些东西？ Why must you teach learn how to cook, how to cut vegetables, cucumber, salad? Why? Why? Any idea? It's like when we grow up, we might not know how to cook. Yes. It's not about you are them. It's so simple answer. It's learn how to cook, how to survive. It's true, no? Some people don't even know how to use, so they don't know how to use this car. So now I might make my helper. Okay. Oh, my dog are very funny. Wow, fly, uh, flying here and there. Uh. It, yeah, you want to catch the stupid beast. Wait, uh, sorry, it's flying in front of my face. So it's, it's, it's true that some, some uh, what do you call? Students tell me, uh, my helper, my mom, my dad, my grandparents cook for me, do for me, everything done. So when they come to use the, the kitchen knife, the spoon, uh, washing dishes, they don't know how to do. They say, oh, I got a dishwasher. What should I wash? All right, number two, please. Honey. Making one smoothie for day. Smoothies are uh, some of the most versatile foods on the planet. Need a protein boost? Make a protein smoothie. Do them healthy fats loaded up with nut butter. Like in micronutrition, sneak in greens or superfoods. This goal is great for those trying to meet nutrition goals but can't seem to make ends meet. And they're a perfect option when you're in a time crunch. Smoothies take minutes to whip up and can be one of the best ways to jam-pack a whole bunch of nutrients in one yummy meal. You can even meal prep them. And they can even help to reduce stress and give your immune system a boost during those chilly months when the germ germy season peaks. Peaks. Need some ideas? Try this morning energizer smoothie. Full of protein, fiber, healthy fats, and super food for you. Hey, you know recently, uh, this month uh, in Singapore, there are 56,000 who got COVID. Uh. The thing is that, are we ready? Uh? Are we ready to, to, to to, to um to mass up to prevent the COVID or are we supposed to drink all these healthy food to improve our immune system? Mm, are we ready to embrace the COVID nineteen for the second and third time? Okay, I got second time ready. Yeah, then sickening. Yeah. All right. So are we ready to to make sure that all these journeys like COVID nineteen will not come to us, especially when you're exam. So uh, Hanya and Juni, when there was these three years of uh, COVID, uh, you were all primary, primary four, five, uh, and even primary six. It was a very tough year for you to put on the mask and do your oral, or even put on the mask and do your exam, or even you had to go for vaccination. Then you got a side effect. Then uh, you heard people drink a lot of water, take certain vitamins. 
Okay, so next day of resolution, are you going to stay on like what the past few years? Okay, this one is only uh, ignore all these other things that you want to make a, a smoothie. Number three, please, uh, Hanye. Try a new style of fitness each week or month. If your fitness motivation is lacking, it might be a sign that it's time to try something new. Remember, you don't want to remind, rely too much on your willpower. One of the best ways is to keep the motivation pumping is with some new exercise motivation. Thankfully, fit on workouts make it easy. Get your heart pumping with quick hit workouts. Sculpt lean muscle with longer strength the training class. Or ground down with calming yoga flow. There's something for everyone. Okay, don't need to read that this one. Okay, thanks. So are you, uh, Juni and Hanye, will you be going for this next year? Answer A. Will you go for this kind of exercise? Wake up early in the morning on Saturday, Sunday after the tuition, so evening time, you go for a, a breeze walk or jog or go to your gym. If you are staying in a condo, you go for your gym, exercise, go for a swim. Or even do push up at home. Will you do that now? Uh, uh, don't say don't know lah. Uh, yes or no only. Will you have the real power to be like this man so fit and strong? Judy. Yes, Mr. Judy. Will you do that? Will you do uh, exercise? No. Ah, uh, why? I don't have the real power to do it. So only when you do it is during the PE lesson, right? Yeah. Okay, how about you, Hanye? Hanye, how about you? Will you do exercise? Yes. Okay, can, can you please tell mommy don't disturb you already? All right, Con concentrate focus. All right. Just, just focus. Just be yourself. Relax. Don't, don't, don't be so stressed out. Okay. Last one. Uh, Han Ye. Go. Simple meditation practice. Meditate once and then never again. You're not alone. This mindfulness technique can feel intimidating if you're new to practice. But with a little know-how, it's much more approachable than you think. Hint, check out our ultimate guide to meditation. When you're getting started with your practice, just start small and begin with just five minutes. As you're starting to get to feel more comfortable, slowly amp up the time. And if this feels unattainable, you have options. Try walking meditation. Press play on a sleep yoga nidra. Or simply start out with breath work. Uh, it's true, uh, Hanye and Juni. If you use your this palm or your hand uh, to feel your heartbeat uh, and count your heartbeat, they say uh, you can live one day longer. So every minute that uh, you just count, just per day, uh, one or two minutes, then you count your heartbeat, boom, boom, one, boom, boom, two, boom, boom, three, that kind of thing. Like what this gentleman did. Uh. Okay, you, you really can, yeah. Are you doing that, uh, Hanye? <laughs> try it. Try, try, try. Oh, no, no, don't try. You, you do it. You do it. Seriously, uh, honey and Judy, you feel it. You know, this is one way to cool down the stress. And this is also extend your heartbeat uh, lifetime cycle. I don't know what they call it. Uh, it's like <clears throat> meditation helps you to calm down, more relaxed, less stressful, and more cool. And do it. Uh, on your, at, at home, like, sometimes you study until you're so stressed already. Okay, you stop everything and do that. Like, like this gentleman like that. Put your palm here and then sit like that. Seriously. Okay? And in fact, you will improve your brain power as well as oxygen. So fortunately, uh, here are some shots. Make a wish, motivation. Effect. Okay, number five. Last one. I will get uh, Juni to continue. Read. Hanye. Read one new book a month. Dish your screen time and use your downtime to dive face first into a book. Since everyone reads at different places, try not to set an unrealistic goal here. While someone else might be able to read five books a month, that just might be unattainable for you, which is 100% okay. Adjust this goal based on available time and reading habits. I think if you don't like exercise, uh, at, least, uh, at least read one book. What kind of books you decide? Uh? Okay, Hania, you bought the thing like a freak, right? 
Uh, have you started reading it? How how you find the story? Interesting, right? Uh, especially the one who kicked the football, right? In the center of the post or the side, right? Correct, no? I don't think I have read until there. I read until the part where uh, the wine part, you know, the wine where they just cute. Like, there's four samples of wine and then, like, one of them is cheapest wine and then other three is expensive wine and then they, they say the cheapest wine and the ex most expensive wine is tastes the same. So, like, then? it doesn't mean that cheapest wine is the not so nice and uh, expensive one is the most nice actually it's oh. just around the same it's the quality quantity and the person who present it huh? correct huh? true no? it's just like I asked the two of you uh, were you willing to hold a pen or bricks in future bricks it means you still talk construction worker lah. well let's be respect to people who are the sweeper the garbage collector the cleaner or the construction worker, they are also doing a decent job. So, Hanye and Juni, would you prefer to type on keyboard or go out to the hot sun and do all these type of jobs? I think the answer is very clear, like Hanye and Juni. You prefer to in the office with aircon, type and write. So, it's the same thing like the wine. At the end of the day, the wine, uh, whether it's the expensive wine or the cheap wine, at the end of the day, you can eat your food, you can eat your food. Right? 一样的道理,你做一个律师, a lawyer might earn 10,000. Maybe a garbage collector in the future might earn seven, eight thousand dollars And then you, the, your job is only 8 to 5, that's it. And then go home for the gar uh, garbage collector. But as a lawyer, you earn 10,000, uh, $3,000 more. You have to work day and night. You have to burn midnight oil to make sure the case that you, you're going to fight the next two days, you're going to win. Or if you even lose, you make sure that the, the crime will have some justice. And like a doctor like that, you know, middle of the night, somebody can call you Dr. Han, Dr. Han Ye, Dr. Jun Ye. There's a patient urgently, urgently need your, your operations, need your assistance. Then you have to go down. So it's true that it's good. Uh, okay, um, you're going to read more of this thing like a big book. Uh, it's very interesting. There are more more and more stories and very interesting. That, that sometimes you can apply in your studies or even in your school uh, and also apply to certain group of people you like or don't like. Okay, I really read halfway through only, uh, not not 100% fully that book yet. Uh. Okay, because uh, I, I the book is right in front of me now, but I only read half of, halfway through on the page. Where is it? On the page 45 only. I think I read once before, but I reread again. Uh. I just want to reread. Okay, so um, uh, next one, carry on. Well, and while uh, reading, no, uh, Hanye. Hanye, sorry. Oh, what? Your turn, your turn, sorry. Oh. And while reading a goal, and while reading is a goal within itself, you may even find your book choices motivate you to crush over other 2024 year New Year's goals. Once you find a topic you're interested in or a goal you set on crushing, look for a good book within the area. You could even download an audio book or try it out a Kindle. Find what works best for you. Yes, I think you have just make yourself a good start, uh, Hanye. To got a book like Think Like a Freak and read it. And I tell you, uh, if you have this, um, you know, when school reopen, they got this assembly period when you need about 10, uh, 10 minutes of reading time or half an hour reading time. You can fish out this book and read and people will look at you. Uh, oh my goodness. You see, because other people will read other books, but when you fish out this book, Think Like a Freak, I think your teacher will look at you differently. Uh. Okay, because not anybody or anyone around your age will want to read these kind of books. Seriously, you will change your mindset totally. Back to you, Juni. Thank you very much. What is this? What, what is tea or toilet? Uh? Okay, wait for a while. Uh? Wait for, for a toilet break. Huh?
Are you there? Oh, sorry, I'm going to get my medicated oil here. Sorry. My nose, I think, a bit stuck. Okay, uh, Juni, are you ready? You drink an extra cup of water a day. Let's go. Unmute your mic. Thank you. I'm drinking an extra cup of water a day. Instead of creating a goal that involves removing something from your day, it's best to try adding something positive into the step. For instance, instead of saying drink less caffeine, start with drinking more water. It comes with a more empowering place that leaves you more likely to follow through. Once you have integrated the daily cup of water into your healthy routine, then address those not so healthy habits with another micro group. Want to cut back on coffee or alcohol? Slowly switch out your guilty beverage of choice for a healthier alternative. Again, start small. One cup a week is a good goal. Maybe you start the week with a cup, cup of matcha instead of coffee or end of the week with a kombucha instead of reaching for the wine. Once that feels manageable, continue building with small goals. Struggling to squeeze in enough water, try these hydration hacks. Yeah, especially uh, guys, we recent 56,000 of COVID-19 cases. Uh. Uh, I think a few of my students got it and the parents also. Uh, and uh, including my family, myself. Uh. So it's true, no? Juni and Hanye, it's good to drink more water. Not only to hydrate yourself and not only to give you oxygen to your body, more fluid. But water is a good thing. Uh. It's a healthy thing. So maybe next year you can say, maybe every day I want to drink three cups of water before I start my school. But then it will be too much urine. Uh. So maybe you can say drink one cup of plain water before I go to school. Or maybe after PE lesson, I need to drink plain water, but not uh, isotonic drinks or 100 plus or things like that. Juni, next one, number seven, please. Declutter the problem area once a week. We all have that one spot in our living space that just left. Blah. Blah. Okay. And then it never? Never clean. Instead of trying to tackle it all at once, why not break it in two chunks, removing something bit by bit every week? And do you know mess can cause stress? Rejoice in the fact that your goals levels as a stress relief technique. So Juni and Hanya, if you still do not know what is your resolution and how you're going to do it for 2024, here are some of the ideas that can help you. Is it true, uh, Juni and Hanya? Is it true that all your primary school textbooks are still lying in one corner of your room or in your in your, your cupboard? I think it's time uh, to clear out all those books and sell it to Kalanguni. You know what's Kalanguni, right? So uh, I said donate uh, to charity. Do a good cause. Seriously. Donate to charity. Donate to those um uh churches or, or, or whatever organization that they can send this book to to Cambodia, to Vietnam, to Thailand, to any parts of the third world country for children to receive education. Clean up the place because the place more messy, yeah, uh, means more dusty. More dusty means you can come breathe properly. You can't breathe properly means you can't think properly. You can't think properly, then it will affect your results. So it's a change reaction. So not only chain reaction, also cause you very stressful, uh, brother. Next, take a walk a day. Back to you, Juni. <clears throat> I think it's very... Okay, uh, since you don't like exercise, uh, Juni, for goodness sake, uh, I think it's good to take a walk. Then you don't tell me, uh, Juni, yeah, I always walk around at home. Uh, Han Ye also say, yeah, yeah, I'm always walking around at home. Don't tell me, 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 Plus, the simple act of moving your body can be done anytime, anywhere, by anyone. Really, if it's the one of the simplest to go to for New Year's goals. Start your morning with a brisk walk around the block. Try your walk meditation or consider, consider any in walking work meetings when possible. Make something more constructed 
to help you start it. Try this 28 day walking for a weight loss plan. It's simple, sustainable, and supportive. Or try our fit on. Okay, that might is okay. You know, uh, I got one student, uh, a set two girl. Uh, she told me this, uh, Juni. For, from last month until now, or in fact, this year, whole year, most of the time, uh, she will jog every day, most of the day, uh, every day, three kilometers. Uh. So, huh? Are you sure not? Um, because my father told me to do this. Then, even if my father told me to do this, I will walk for three kilometers. Yao Ming. Yao Ming, you ask me uh, enough already. Uh, and yet, I've enough jogging in my national service, my army time already. <laughs> and my police duty also enough training. But it's good uh, that she do this and keep herself fit uh, away from illnesses and diseases. Because on, once you do exercise, your whole body system works very well, get fresh air. True, uh, this, the, one of the reasons now with COVID-19 so high, you need to keep yourself exercise. Don't just sit there, sit there, sit there, and then you know your your body will get aching very fast. Uh. Uh, number nine, please. Uh, you got two more to go. The rest are read. Uh, number nine, please. Hey, that's your phone every week. Your phone is probably dirtier than a public toilet seat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God! Seriously, honey, your phone is so dirty. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, but... Juni, carry on. But it makes sense that since we are constantly putting it down in different places, a simple two draw to four New Year schools, get in the habit of sanitizing your food more regularly, as we mentioned, cleaning can be therapeutic. In plus, it reduces your risk of getting sick, especially during cold or flu season. I don't know about you, uh, sometimes I also carry my phone inside the toilet. There was one many years ago, I carried a Nokia phone. After shitting, uh, I flushed my, my, my phone also dropped into the toilet bowl. But thank God when I took out the, to when I took out the toilet bowl, <laughs> when I took out the phone from the toilet bowl, uh, the Nokia phone still uh, activating and working well. Uh. But now today, I don't know whether our phone put it inside that seat. Uh. It's so fragile now. It's true, uh, sometimes your hand is dirty, like you're eating. Because now it's a swipe phone, right? You use your finger to swipe. Uh, of course, now you can use your voice recognition. Uh, hey, Siri, tell me the weather. Aha, uh -huh, today weather is what? So now it's voice recognition. Whatever it is, once you take out your phone out, it will be very dirty in terms of bacteria and virus. Your hands will germs and things like that. So is it good? Uh, sorry, uh, no way for me, uh, Juni. Uh, I will sanitize my phone, but not every week. Uh. Uh, sometimes, maybe a few days. Uh, it's good to have this habit. Right, because we are talking about the COVID-19 here, all right? Okay, number 10, please, Juni. <clears throat> in, in a snack before you go grocery shop. Oh, really? Let's go. Have you ever gone to grocery shop shopping hungry? You're, you're way luckier to over-purchase food. Not to mention buy some not-so-healthy snacks when you shop hungry. Okay, in the habit of eating a protein stack before you go, think of a handful of nuts and seeds or a hot boy egg with a set of food. Need some shopping is full. Try this high protein packet set at Whole Foods. Or head to our receipt box if you don't go with personalized meal pairs and receipts, including foods you will love to eat. Getting your meal ready for the week has never been easier. You are less likely to splurge on unnecessary goodies. Plus, you'll save some time and money. No, I no way for me to do that. Uh. I, I will have no time to eat this kind of snack. Uh. Because I, I, I prefer to eat proper food. So this, this goal and resolution may not be workable for me. It okay, depends on individuals. Some people like to do that because they want to keep a healthy diet and jam uh. Okay, lose weight. Okay, now my turn. Put your phone in a different room while you work. Can you do that? Uh, Honestly, can you do that? Answer, please. Can uh? Answer me, please. Answer, answer. Unmute and answer. Ah, I can't hear you, Lee. Unmute, please. Both of you unmute now. Tell me, can you can you do that? Putting your phone in another room while you're working? Yes. Answer. Nonsense. Don't bluff me, la. Honey and Juni. Can, can. I just put it outside the room. 
I cannot know because for me, uh, now of course when I'm doing my laptop, using my laptop, no laptop or WhatsApp. Uh, okay. And uh, unless it's WhatsApp, because uh, I need my phone beside me. Eh? Because I'm a businessman, correct? No? And sometimes my student might want to WhatsApp me about homework. While I'm working at my homework, correct? No? Honey, like for example, you tell me it's homework. Hey, uncle, I got this issue. Like, so if, if imagine uh, your issue is very urgent. Uh, let's say you need within one hour to reply you. I After that, I just do my thing. I forgot about it. Then, oh my goodness, how, how, how will you feel? While you're waiting for my answer and no reply, you see, you get very worried. So not possible for me. Uh. I, I don't know about you. Let's read. Uh. Your phone is a productivity killer. Not true to me. From social media to email, text messages, and countless apps, it's a constant source of interruption. True enough, I agree. Resist the urge to check it entirely by placing it in another room. No way for me. Because I have to constantly check my WhatsApp, my SMS, uh, even my Instagram or whatever it is. So this is for my business purpose. So I, I, I will not take this as one of my resolutions. View a gratitude practice. Uh, this one is very important. Please pay attention to this one. Uh, to pay attention. Okay, uh, Juni, why not you read this one? Then I speak. Go. A solid gratitude practice leaves you way more grounded. You can even do it while, you're br while you brush your teeth. Either right now or say to yourself three things you are grateful for that day. It might sound simple, but gratitude can, help, can improve feelings of positivity and even improve mental health. Don't underestimate the power of this small tool to do for curious to. Why don't you do that in 2024? Every day when you wake up, your mom and dad wake up, give them a big hug or say, Daddy, Mommy, I love you. Show your gratitude. Or sometimes when you're on the way, you see people need help. Go and help them. So seriously, go and help them if you need to. If your friends need help, uh, anything, so build a gratitude practice. You know, it's, it's important. It's important to have this gratitude because it will help you to feel good, feel positive feel rejuvenated, feel full of energy. I leave it to you. Uh, if you don't want to have this kind of vibes and gratitude, that, you know, give daddy, mommy an early morning a big heart. Hi, mom, dad. Okay, have a good day. Love you. Have a good day at work. You know, it feel good. The more you say that, everyone has a positive vibe at home. Next is compliment yourself every day. We are self-worth, self-esteem, and confident by increasing positive self-talk. Hello, compliments. Write yourself sticky notes and place them on the mirror so that you can see every day. That's what I do. Uh. Here are some examples. Kanye, read. Hmm? Read. Okay. Build up your self-worth, self-esteem and confidence by increasing positive self-talk. Hello, compliments. Write yourself sticky notes and place them on the mirror so you can see them every day. Here are some ideas. I'm resilient and overcome challenges. I'm worthy of love. I'm proud of myself for I put put a lot of dedication and hard work into. It shows and it shows. I am kind and compassionate. I'm beautiful. Yes. Always say positive to yourself. Always must be good to yourself. Don't say negative things to yourself. It doesn't work. Seriously, if you do that, uh, and then someone, someone. Uh, carry on. Hello, my dear, carry on. Hanye. Mr. Hanye. I can't hear you. Leh. I can't hear you. I am physically and mentally strong. I'm a good parent, a friend, daughter, sister. I want a more one more of a guided affirmation practice. Try this daily affirmation meditation with Keta. Okay, so you say I'm a good son. I will wake up and 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 have a positive attitude every day in 2024. I will make sure that I keep my promise that I will keep writing things and put this in my notepad. So Hanya, you sometimes say so you want to write notes. Huh? You you buy the nice exercise book, right? Say, no, I mostly use a uh, e notes. So I, yeah. No, I like my dear, my dear, you better use to write. Practice your handwriting because you know why. 
the more you write, uh, the more you, uh, you, when you go to for exam, uh, you can write faster. You realize some student who go to exam and write, then that's so tired. So swan, uh, tired, uh, cram, uh, then that's you, wow, rub. So practice to write. So once you write, uh, you, you get the momentum, very important. Okay, so I leave it to you. Uh, of, co of course, e note is still good, but I still prefer you to write. Okay, for us old people, now uh, e notes is important for us. Okay, now if you ask me to write, uh, I can't even write very fast now. Also, only when I'm marking, uh, now marking, I also do it on, on the laptop. Also. So, it getting the, cannot, uh, my finger is like very stiff now. Start the wind down routine before bed. But this one very important. Uh. I used to sell, a, uh, uh, I used to work in a mattress company. A very famous company called Siemens. Uh. And uh, this, this is the word. Okay, you can go and check. Uh, this word Siemens. Uh. Okay, let's go. There's nothing worse than going to bed stressed and then waking up in the middle of the night thinking about all you have to do. Give yourself a little tender loving care and end the days with a calming evening routine to decompress and release any emotions from the day. Okay, you go first. Thanks, mother. Thank you. Thanks. Where am I? Sorry. And release any emotion from the day that are no longer serving you. Make this simple habit part of your 2024 New Year's goal before bed. Develop an eating routine with things like meditation, breath walk or yoga nira, or calming yoga flow or stretch. So you realize that if you tell me uh, somebody, some expert tell you, hey guys, you must sleep eight hours, nine hours, um quite bullshit. Uh. Can you imagine uh, Han Yet, you halfway you go and sleep? Shit! I want to do all the homework. Tao Kao, Minden will you test? I want to do. So you got three choices, uh, Han Yet and, and Juni. Either you go and sleep eight hours, don't give a damn, or you wake up now, quickly go and study your exam. Or the third thing is that you go and sleep and then you put your alarm clock to wake up one hour earlier and prepare for your test, or wake up earlier to do your homework. Or Option four, never mind, I continue to sleep eight hours because I already done my homework, I already prepare my exam, I'm cool, man, I'm not worried. So to say to wind down and have a good sleep, uh, it all depends on how much work you have done for yourself in order to dare to do this. Huh? Are you not there? Give me a minute. Huh? Okay, so you need journaling. Write down like what you do in your ebook. Assuming I've sworn soap, uh, soap, soap. That means you soak yourself, your leg with all these uh, therapeutic uh, herbs to cool down. You know, make your legs more relaxing. Relaxing. This one, I leave it to you. Ah, uh, whether you want to less screen because sometimes TikTok and Instagram, all these sometimes can give you a lot of good ideas. A warm cup of tea, yeah, depends, but I prefer my coffee, yeah. What happened to your finger, uh, Juni? Can you don't do that now? Sorry, because uh, yeah. it's obstructing me. Need some evening wind down inspirations, okay, like this one. You can cool yeah. down, you'll sleep. Now, next one. What? Take a social media detox once a month. What do you mean by that? One of the 2024 new year goals you will want to make take is that taking a monthly phone detox. Constant scoring can cause a lot of brain fatigue. Very true, ah. Huh? Because when you keep scoring, your brain has to follow, and sometimes it might cause harm to your brain. It's very true. Anxiety and comparison problem. I think we can all agree that social media comparison track is no joke. Give yourself a breather by putting your phone away for a day, at least once a month. Not for me, sorry. It doesn't work for me, to be honest. Because the phone now today is not only for information, for business, for contact, for emergency, for anything. Uh, then go and tell those CEO, la, those big bosses, don't hold the phone. 
cannot be because we are living in a very fast paced world phone is part and parcel like become our tools we have to use it every day right and contact okay of course for student your job is to study first and then mm, use a phone later fine fine i understand practice random act of kindness yeah that means to show the beauty of this is that when you give someone a compliment or do something nice for someone else you feel good too well, this can be um, your partners, your friends, your siblings, your mommy, daddy, whoever you think that is good, okay? That they do something for them that is nice and uh, do it with the, um, when they least expect it. That, just like when your mom and dad came home very tired and then you just go forward and give them a hug, planted a kiss on their cheek and say, mommy, I love you, take care. And then you go back to the room and study. No, that's the random acts of kindness give and involve much related mood boost and make them happier, both of you, and more healthier. So let's do it. Uh. Do, do I smile at a stranger at times depend? Uh. Do I buy a copy for the person behind you? No, no way. I won't do this. Maybe this is an American style, Western style, not me. Hold the door and open for someone. Yes, I will do that most of the time. Okay. Uh, help a stranger with the grocery depends what kind of stranger. If it's an old people handicapped, yes, I will do that. So add extra food and veggies to your cart. Yeah, some people do that. The first step to eat healthy is to actually buy more healthy foods. Very true. To make yourself 20, 24 to see less doctors and an apple a day keep the doctors away. It's very true. So start at the beginning when you are at the store, load up on your favorite fruits and veggies. To maximize the nutrition value, support sustainability and support your local farm. Try to buy local and seasonal when possible. So these are the things that, when you eat all this green color stuff, actually helps you uh, to give you more vibes. So okay, this one, laugh every day. Laughter is the best medicine, especially when you are really stressed. No, really, it is. According to research, laughter decreases the stress hormones. Cortisol. What is the cortisol means? It's your body system, your hormones, your nerve system, everything, your 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 whole entire okay body. According to research, laughter decreases. Okay, uh, when we laugh, we trigger the release of the endorphins, the body's natural feel good chemicals. So with our body have good chemicals to walk off bad chemicals. So don't always have negative thoughts. The more negative thoughts you are killing off your good chemicals. And no wonder you look so tired, fatigued, and, and so boring, and so sickly. You see, realize some people who got cancer, uh, they live very positive, even, even though inside their body are very painful, you know, because of chemotherapy and the cancer cells are eating their, their good cells. But because they've got few good chemicals, and they always laugh, very cheerful, you know, that's how they live the day. And sometimes, miraculously, doctors say only got three months to six months to go, but they can live up to one year. That is a bonus. Not only can this counteract the productions of cortisol, but it can also reduce the muscle tension so it makes you feel better. Uh, spend quality time with your loved one. There's no need to say. Uh, one of the best and easier ways for 2024 New Year's goal is to okay, love your, your group of people. Stay positive. Um, I know next year you might be very busy with your study. With your CCA, whatever project work. You may not have time with your families, with your mom and dad to sit down to eat. The only time I think we all can eat together on honey and June is when Chinese reunion dinner, right? right? That's the whole year, entire year. Or maybe this month, the, the, the Dong Jie, Dong, Dong Zi, where you can enjoy. Um, why not we always make it an effort like every month, at the end of the last day of the month, you have a good lunch or dinner with your family members. Okay, try your journal every day. Write down whatever you have in this book here. Okay, to create the, the whatever, like you say, like, like uh, ebook, uh, honey, you say ebook, uh, is it good? Yes, definitely, it's very useful. <clears throat> it's very powerful and useful. Okay, and write down so next time in 2025, you can look back at what you did in 2024. So, if you are eager to crush your goals, let's do it. So, look here, this is a 12 year resolutions, uh, 12 new year resolution, not 12 year, 12 new year resolution. So every month you may have a new resolution. For example, uh, January I like to do this, February I like to do that, things like that. Okay. 
pursue your dreams. You see that these two clown is climbing up so high in the mountain. I don't know how are they going to get down unless a helicopter come and save them or I don't know how they go. Really. Going out is so difficult. Coming down is even more difficult. All right. So even if you hit the pit here, so what are you going to do? You need to come down and climb the next mountain, which is 2025. Ready? Are you ready? Take a piece of paper. Let's start now. So every now and then there will be this kind of exam coming up to you, all of you here. So you either put the adjective or adverbs. 18 questions. Let's go. You just write to write the word uh, like for example the president hopes that people of all races will live together. You just write the answer will do take a piece of paper and write it down. Thank you. Uncle Ramon, is there still questions under? Let me check. Uh, uh, no, 18 only. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay, wait for Hanye. Huh? 
Thank you, Trini. That knows what. Okay, let's go. So I trust you, uh, for next year, 2024, we will do quite a bit of this type of things. Uh, right? And I trust you that you need to write on a piece of paper. And then once you mark your paper, you have to take a screenshot and send it to Uncle Raymond. Sometimes no need. Sometimes all you need to do is just to show, okay, look, look at my mom here, show in front of the camera. Okay, how many, how many marks you got. Okay, this is to prove to your parents that you did the test. Okay, sometimes I will record certain exam and certain tests of record to see how much you have improved, uh, which question you go wrong to help you understand, or better still when you're doing the correction uh, on the screen. Uh, Uncle Raymond, number four, I don't know why I got wrong. Let's go. Uh, one to five hundred. Let's go. Read the the whole entire sentence. Peacefully. No, the president. The president hopes the people of all races will live together peacefully. Uh, how do you continue from there, Juni? Huh? The president hopes that people of all races will live together peacefully. How you continue in the next sentence? So that everyone in Singapore can enjoy harmony. Uh, something like that. Okay? Uh, continue from there. Uh, she told us that the streets in the... No, no, no. I'm asking Juni to continue the first oh. sentence. Yeah. That's also, so I continue the letter sentence. Yeah, on your own ideas, your own creative ideas sentences. Oh. There will no there will not be a uh, racial riots. Very good. You really use your set one history, yeah? Uh, Harriet Matot racial riots. Very good. Get it up, Juni and, and Hanye. So this is what we're going to do next year. A lot of this. Within five seconds, you must give me an answer. This is to test your brain power, your quickness and wittiness. Number two, please. Go. Hanye. Your turn to read. Oh. Uh, she told us that the streets in the capital city were dirty and ugly. Number three. So she told me to avoid going to the capital. Ah, something like that. Ah. Okay, go. Do you think nuclear energy is safe? Depends on how you use it. Depends on how you make sure that it is safe for the people and for the environment. Number four. I get all the food directly from the farmers. Wow, that's very wonderful. It looks healthy and good. The minister was deeply worried that the deal would not pass parliament. So be it. Let's look into other um, deal. Thank you. Marty drove home from the party as fast as he could and got there safely. What happened? Why must he do that? Thank you. Back to you, Julie. The... Seven. Uh, I'm sorry you overshot with this. So, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Your turn. Uh, Julie. When a director found out about the scandal, he shouted angrily at his employees. Finally, he decided to fire all the staff except Uncle Raymond. The old woman walked away, I mean, walked across the street very carefully. Because he used, he used, uh, no, because a few months ago, he was knocked down by a very reckless driver. She didn't see me, she nearly knocked me down with a brand new car. Obviously, he just passed his driving license and he was a bit nervous. After a week, people forgot about him completely. That's nothing new because in this world, if you're not famous, nobody will give you a damn. Number 11. He hardly works anymore because he already has enough money. Wow, I'm so admired of him, but he's too arrogant. He slowly climbed down from the tree as soon as the beard, the, as the bear has disappeared. So she asked her sister, what did the, she asked her friend, what did the bear talk to you? The, the, the friend replied, the bear told me never trust a person who betray you. <laughs> you think about this story? You think about this story, Juni and Hanye? From the past, there are two friends. They went to a forest, 
then they are having a picnic. Then suddenly the bear came charging at them. And then the friend quickly climbed out to the tree. Instead of helping the friend climbing out of the tree, he climbed out. So the friend who is on the uh, on the ground, right, he, he realized that the dad told him, as long as you pretend to be dead, you will be safe from the bear. So there's no other choice to pretend to be dead. And then when the bear came towards her, the bear sniffed her. So looking to the head, sniff her ear, sniff her body, and then the mouth moving. So the friend on top did not know what is it, but from the from the anger, he thought the bear was talking to her friend. Then after the friend, after the bear went off, and in a very far away distance, the friend came down. When the friend came down, he said, "Oh, thank God you are safe, no lucky." Uh, 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 what did the bear say to you? So the bear was very angry. From that day, that day onwards, he he refused to be his friend. He said, "Oh no, the bear told me never." Be friend with a person that is betraying you and untrust. Then you walk, she walk away. Okay? Let's go for the next one. Please. Number 13, uh, 13, 14, 15 will be Han Ye. 16, 17, 18 will be Jun Yi. Okay? 13. He was, he is a very good volleyball player. No wonder he was being selected for the national team to represent uh, Singapore for the Olympic Games. Bob excused himself politely and went home. Because he don't feel that he's able to mix around with those um, bad eggs. Easy. Uh, English is an easy language to learn. However, you couldn't learn grammar rules so easily. It takes time to do it. Don't worry. Next, Juni. The sun shone brightly in the sky. Wow, it's a good day to go for a picnic. Let's go. The new colleague seems to be highly intelligent. No wonder the boss liked him so much and gave him a promotion after three months. The boy felt guilty because he knew what he had done. He lied and cheated in the exam and finally the mother found out. Okay, guys, how many marks do you got for this? Two marks. Huh? Two marks, huh? How about you, Juni? How many marks? Eighteen. Uh, oh, sorry. I just saw it. Okay. Who marks? Well done. Wow. You better than my other class, eh, brother? My other class did not get full marks, eh? And we are talking about the high level one. I don't want to tell you which level. Uh. Wow. Well done. So now there's a challenge for this. Uh. Uh, Juni, I want you to pick from 1 to 18. Uh. Wait, I make it smaller. Uh. So this is something that next year you will see that quite often. Uh. But because now you only two of you, uh, so the, the, this game is not very fun with you. You need more than five people to play this game. Uh. That will be more fun. Okay, okay let's uh, yeah. Okay, let's go. Juni, choose one question. So three of us play, uh, three of us play. Choose one question. One to 18. It did. 18, uh, okay. Then uh, you read the sentence. The boy felt guilty because he knew what he had done. Yeah, so Han Ye, Han Ye, you want to take the first sentence, do you, do you want to write something before this sentence? Or after this sentence? That means you have to create a sentence before the boy. Or you want to create a sentence had done. Um, I think I would like to create um before or after. After. Before... Okay, let's go. The boy felt guilty because he knew what he done and he knew the consequences. Full stop, full stop, really, ah, full stop. Then you must, you cannot start with Anna. So, so the, so he, he knew that the consequences were heavy and, uh. Oh, so he so he know the consequences were heavy and uh <laughs> nothing wrong, uh, uh you'll get punishment, right? Okay. Uh so what the sentence before that, uh, after some thoughts, he decided to own up his mistake. Has 
the boy felt guilty for what he has done. You see, after some talk, after thinking that what he did was wrong, the boy felt guilty because he had done what he had done. So, what? He know what is the consequence. So get it, get it up. So this is one way to help you guys to have the challenge one sentence before and after to make this like a, a, a thinking cap. So now my turn. Uh, uh, honey, now your turn. You choose one. So now it's Juni and myself. Uh. Okay, Hanye, you choose one. Uh, 14. 14, uh, read to the class, please. Well, excuse him politely and went home. Okay, so uh, Juni, I will start before this, okay? I start before this. Uh. Bob excused himself politely and went home. Bob, looking at the surrounding of these people, he decided to make an excuse. So Bob excused himself politely and went home. How do you continue the next sentence, Juni? After that, uh, he went to sleep. <laughs> what boring, eh, brother? Can you make it more interesting or after that he went to sleep? Oh, yo. Hey, do you know the fourth person will judge you whether the sentence you make is good or not? So good. Oh, come on. A bit longer, eh? <clears throat> That's more than 20. After that, uh, his, his mother scolded him for being late. Uh, for, uh. For, for, for coming late to home. But he excused himself. Oh, because he went to the house. 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 Before the sentence or after the sentence? After. Okay, after. Uh. So, uh, Han Ye, you, you, you see, he's faster, so you have to do before already. Let's go for number 14. You have to start first, uh, before, because you are before my sentence. So, it's a question of... No, you see, uh, this one is my, my sentence, ma, right? mm. Number 14. So, you have to write the first one sentence, now you have to write the sentence, and then you will complete the sentence. So, like, I, I start the sentence, and then you complete the sentence. No, no, you start the sentence, then I continue from here. Then oh. you get Ah, uh, let's go. Since his father was a billionaire... That's what? Yeah. Boring, uh. I thought you would say since his father is a billionaire, he realized that he can stop working. Something like that. But so boring. Eh? Hello, you said two already. Eh? Come on, you're not family one. Eh, brother. Oh, so he, since his father is a billionaire, he calculated that it will be enough for him to survive his entire life without working. He hardly work anymore because he already has enough money. Next, your turn, Juni. He also do, doesn't work because he has a, uh, uh, I, I mean, a uh, film thing. Yeah, come on, come on. Very interesting, huh? this is the first time you play this game, oh, Hanye. He has so much money, he spent, mm -hmm. he spent money on um, boats and houses. Wow, boats and houses, the boats, uh, you're talking about yachts, right? Is it? Hello? 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 Answer me, eh? Is it boats? Boats means like a chuan, ah? Right? Okay, now, ready? Judy, I want you to use one word only. One word. Hello? One word. Say a word. Huh? Say a word. Don't, don't say a F-U-C-K word. Ah. Say a word. One word. Diary. Next, Hanye, one word, connect diary. One word, huh? Uh, diary. Diary. Of. Diary of my. Juni, continue. Diary of my. Of my uh, diary. What, diary of my diary? Please, look at uh, both of us. <laughs> diary of my, one word. 
possession. Ah, get it now? Honey, diary of my possession. No, honey, one word. Uh, car. Juni, car what? One word, one word, car. Mechanic. Car mechanic is... A. Car mechanic is big. Uh. A. Oh, car mechanic is a... Uh... One word. Good lah. Correct lah. Get it now? You want to use one word, my turn lah. So who want to continue? Uh, who want to start? Honey or Juni? Junior, okay. Junior, I start first. Huh? People. Yes. And yet. Uh... On word, huh? People is. People is. A. One word. People oh. is what? Oh. People is what? Uh oh, honey, it's stuck already. <laughs> People is one word, one word, continue from the east. People is what? Wonderful. Yeah, people is wonderful during. Say the word Christmas. Christmas. During New Year. New, two words are already done. Then, oh, then uh, new. Uh, then your turn. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is the first time right? you can play with your brother, uh, guys. Very interesting, right? You just have to say two words. Then you say two words, then three words, okay? That's very interesting.